everybody. And today we are in Star Wars. gets to 20 subscribers I'll teach you how to make a plane okay okay first things first we're gonna make a basic platform um, by deleting the whole thing well this is my whole thing I had here well you hit new vehicle. Sorry. Um, somebody was distracting me. Um, and you're going to have it like, you're going to have your block. Make sure you have center mass on. And you don't need all this. You might want to have the error on if you, this little button on. It'll show if it's on like this. And that's on. This is center mass. And then you're going to go over here. Symmetry. Going to go X. And then when you build this is how you're going to be building you're going to take your normal block we're going to use the easy wedge blocks you can do this in any way um you're going to take a wedge block you're going to take a inverse pyramid and you're going to take a pyramid to get yourself started what you're going to do is you're going to do it like this and the way this is working is because your what you do is you click on your block and you're gonna drag. So I'm just gonna make a tiny bit for a start. And actually I'm gonna redo that real quick. I'm gonna do it like that. You can do this really anywhere on the whole map you want. And then what you're gonna do, I'm gonna go up to the top, build it up a couple layers by holding again. And then wherever that center mass is, or wherever you want the middle to be stretched out, you're going to go like this. You're going to bring it out a bit. And then my boat's pretty small because I didn't really want to do that. I'm going to make it like that. Make the back a little bigger so I can actually fit an engine. You can do your engine so many different ways. And this video, I'll show you how to do the logic and how to do the video. Well, the engine. So then you got this, right? So first things first, you're going to mark where you want your thing to be. You're going to want to do it from like right here. Like this. Like that. That's what you're going to want to do. And just delete all that. Make sure you have your erase tool selected so you can erase that. You can hold to and do the exact same thing with this side. And you might see that little red thing right over there when I was doing that. It's copying the exact same thing I'm doing over here, and that's why I told you guys to select the X. Whoops. <laughs> like that. Okay. Then you got how wide you want your boat to be is how long that is. Then what you're going to do, you're going to take this little guy right here. You're going to flip it. In a couple different ways. It's... Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot one thing. You're going to want to do this first. You're going to take these little pyramids right over here. The wedge blocks. Go like that. And put one on the front too. Same with this. Oh, whoops. <laughs> And you can also drag like that. And that's one of the things we're going to be doing here. Ionics and did that. Um, you're going to take the block like this. Flip it around a few times until it matches up just like that. Then you're going to drag it up to the very top. Oh, I somehow erased that. Then you're going to keep it. Oh my gosh, now I have to fix this. And then like that. 
I'm going to take this little pyramid here. Drag it up just like that. And you're going to take your next block. Drag it up. Then you're going to take the inverse pyramid. Flop it around a few times until it lines up like that. And then you're going to keep on repeating this process over and over and over again. Until you reach your point like this. I'm doing a tiny boat just because it's a little quicker. Then you're going to take that inverse pyramid. Do that again. Then you're going to take it like this. Bam, just like that. Take that little pyramid. Bring them right that. That inverse pyramid. Just flip it like that. Then, when you get to this area, you're going to start doing something a little different. So, first, you're going to take your wedge. You're going to line it up just like this. And you're going to leave that one little gap for the first time. And then, you're going to take the pyramid. And again, you can make this any size you want. And you don't have to use these exact blocks, but this is just a start. And then you're going to take a block, drag it all the way down over here. Oh gosh. <laughs> just like that. Then you're going to take these. Put them like that. Put it just like that. And this is my first YouTube video, so. And my name is Tegan, just so you know. Then you're gonna keep on repeating that process over and over again. Just like that. Take your little wedgie. Take it like that. Then you're gonna take your block. Just like that. Take the wedge again. It's an easy little process. And then you're going to take another block. You're going to do just like that. You don't have to do it this way because I ended up messing that up because I have to erase that block now. And then I have to place another block right there. And then you're just going to do this one more time. You're gonna take that little, oops, wrong block, um, your wedge block. You're gonna flip it around a few times. Bring it just like that. And then we're gonna be going just like this. And then bam, you got the front part of your body done. Then you're gonna come over here. You're gonna bring out the body just like that. This might be a little easier way just to keep on doing it like this. Or you can get a little tricky and try to do this. I'm not sure my boat's thick enough for it, so. So I'm just going to do it that way. Then you're going to take these little pyramids. Oh, by the way, the only time you're going to need the flip is with K and L. And that's what I'm doing right here. That's the only thing so that's really necessary so far. I've never used anything else. Um... And then you're going to do that same process over... Actually, I'm not even sure you have to do that process. Yeah, I'm not sure you do. should just be able to do it like this. So I did. Oh, and you're probably... There's some physics in this game that kind of lay up to real physics. So, why am I making sure this body is hollow? Because if it's not hollow, it's not going to have any air in it. Let me just show you. I'm going to save this real quick. As, um, I don't know, just... <laughs> I don't even know what the... It's just going to work for now. Then you're going to spawn this. I'm actually going to have to walk over the sea. Give me a second. That's one of my boats. It kind of fell off in a tsunami. And probably some people wonder how to zoom out in this game. You hit tab. Then you can go like this. You can just see your character. On a boat, you can zoom out and in with the squirrel after you hit tap. And why is, do I have a helicopter loaded here? Well, then I'm gonna go back to this and then I'm gonna load. 
See, it actually floats quite well because I did the front correctly, but the back still gets water. But just to say, if I didn't make the air pocket, it would have just slipped down because those air pockets actually matter in the game. And let's get back. So you're going to take that wedge block again, you're going to drag it right over, then you're going to drag it right over. Not too hard. And then boom, you got a pretty good looking boat, and you're probably wondering how to do the back. You just take your block, drag all the way down. It looks like it's going to pop up right down there. Even though if you keep it like this, it doesn't spawn. I don't really know why it does this, but it just does. And it's really helpful. So you're going to take it and race all these bony parts. Keep this. It doesn't matter if it overlaps like that. It's just fine. And make sure you don't make any holes in that boat. As long as there's a flat top, all symmetry flat, and just keep on doing your thing by racing like that. Just race like that. Take it like this. Race some more. And bam, you got your hollowed out boat. So if you wanted to make it a little nicer, you could, if you made your boat a little taller, I think I could make a small engine. It's the exact same concept for each and every engine. It's except the electric one. The electrics are a lot easier. I'll show you how to do that too in this video. Um, but these have more horsepower. So you're just going to take this little guy right here. You're, I'm probably going to tilt mine just like this. Oh, and at this point, if you want to, you can just turn this off by doing the disable. So then you're going to place your block just like that. Actually, I need that for the middle. And that can also help you find the middle. Why wouldn't it? Oh, it's because you can't do an engine like that. Okay, so I guess I'll just use a medium sized engine if because those are a little more flat leaves that'll be just perfect right yes that's just perfect i believe let me just check yep okay that's how the one way you can check to make sure your engine is tall enough so we don't mess with this just at the minute but you will in actually a couple minutes I, I don't know what I just said but um the exhaust and all that you can do this in any order you want so first you're gonna go look for in here a what are they called here flu heat radiator there's so many different ones if you're doing a small engine you would go for the small engine you can do it anyway but if you want to go for the small engine you're going to do this one. If you want to do medium, medium, you would do this one. If you want to do the large engine that is a lot bigger, so that's why you need big boats like I had out there. Um, so you're going to just take this little tiny one right here if you're using. Well, actually, for this one, you probably want to use this one because this is the medium-sized engine. So then you're going to you just put anything on it. This is the cool it out and cool it in, and this is where you're going to put this little radiator, whatever it's called. <laughs> this should make sure. I'm going to turn off this again. I'm going to take this like that. Look to make sure in any way that's easier for you to connect your pipes. Then you're going to take some pipes that are going to be all the way at the top. Make sure there's nothing in your bar. I'm going to take it just like this. The really ones that are necessary, unless it would probably just be the straight one like this and this one. So first you're going to find a way to connect your pipe. So it doesn't matter which one it is. Coolant A and coolant B. It doesn't matter which one. Actually, yeah, I'm not sure it matters. I've done engines that said it never matters. But I would just to make safe, be safe, I do coolant B. A, that would be right here if you see right here it says fluid a fluid a and then you would just pop it up into inquilin 
and then out coolant would be coolant B. And that keeps on using and making that coolant cold for you. Engine to survive. Okay, then you can do this a lot earlier so you don't have to like turn at the last minute. But I'm just going to do it like this. Make it like this. Just any way to connect those two pipes. As long as it connects, you're good. Like that. You might want to, if you want to, you can make your engine a little neater. Mine's not that neat. I'm just trying to make things a little neat. So you're not, like, all clumped up with all your parts. And you're going to take this little guy right here. Bam. You have your first engine. Well, not done yet, but very far. So these are exhausts. And you're probably looking for those. If you just scroll down a bit, you'll find them. Or you can search for them. I don't really remember what they're called, so I would have... If I remember what they were called, but I'm just going to look through here. And they would probably be called exhaust pipe. Fluid exhaust, that's what they're called. There's a lot of fluid exhaust. Well, these are not exhaust, these are fluid filters and fluid, all that. But this is the one that you're going to use. It won't bring out any steam, just so you know, if you don't want your thing to be ugly. Um, you're just going to put it in any slot, as long as you have used that. Oh my gosh, why does that music have to play? <laughs> and you're going to take it just like this. On the medium-sized engine, there'll be two of these, and just so you know, on any engine, they'll have the exact same slots, but on all engines, they have my different slots like this, but you don't actually use this one unless you're trying to use something else. You use this one, the RPS. You don't use that one, you use the RPS to for your engine. And then, what you're going to do next is you're going to take this little fluid exhaust just plop it right here on top and then you're gonna take this for your fuel tank so you'll find it it would be right down here at the bottom pretty much well next to the batteries you're gonna use those batteries if you want to make it solar powered I'll show you how you do that too or if you want it to be electrical battery or anything so I would go for a uh, medium sized fuel tank for a uh, pretty long voyage. Um, medium size. And there are settings if you're going on to the Master World that you can make sure that you have infinite fuel and up electricity, but you still have to hook these up even though you have, it says you have infinite fuel and electricity if you want it to work. So then you're going to make sure it lines up just perfectly. You're going to take your pipes, and remember, it doesn't matter where you put these as long as it connects to the right pipes. Then you're going to take it like this, and you're just going to plop them together. Just, oh my gosh, I can't get this angle correct. Then, then you got your whole engine set up and you see those little arrows you'll see that in a minute I just have to oh I, you know what I just noticed something <laughs> I'm um, I don't know what I should do here What, how big it would be in the world just so you know if you want to make sure your vehicle is just the right size and you can move it all the way to the sides and all the way back and forth just like that and I'm just gonna load a boat that I already did just so I can show you how you do this just because I messed up I'm just gonna use this one and okay so here's my engine that is clearly terrible um, there's two sides if you want to do a double-sided engine. So uh, this is your engine all hooked up and all that, right? 
So then, you're going to put a pipe into this called a clutch. If you search up clutch, it should just pop up any minute. You'll just find it somewhere down here. Oh, and you're going to need a gearbox if you're doing it. The strongest gearbox is the biggest one. It's a 5x5 five five and it fits in any way. But here I have a gearbox and my clutch right here, my clutch. And your clutch is right there. And you're going to put your clutch first and then your gearbox. And then you're going to have this little guy. Well, it actually doesn't matter because as long as the fluid's going through one of these first, if it goes to the gearbox first, it would make the gear spin and then the clutch would let that go through to the motor. And here's a propeller you're going to put at the end of that pipe in any way. Then you're going to take a little fin rudders that would be in here. They would be called a rudder and you would find them somewhere in this area and you'd find a rudder. Then you're going to have them just like this. So the solid blue is that way, and the solid blue is that way, and the that blue is that way, and that blue is that way. Make sure this is pointing that way. If it's not, that means you're going to be going backwards. And, oh, and there's one thing you can also do just to keep your boat leveled. These little blocks right here are called weight blocks. And you just race the bottom of your boat, and you take a weight block, and then right here, weight block, and then you put it on the middle, just like that. And make sure it's in this area, because you don't want to have any holes in your boat, as long as you have enough weights to keep it centered. And then, we're going to, after you have your whole engine set up, now we're going to logic. Logic's a little more difficult, as you see, it looks a lot difficult. So you're going to take one of these little blocks and a battery and all those. Okay. This is a bit confusing, but you're going to have a button. You don't have to have a gauge. I just did that. And you can have this little, you're going to have the lever. So the solid is the plus going forward. And you're going to have a little battery. And this little battery, you can use solar panels too. Um, if you go to logic again, then you go to electricity. I already supplied everything. But this battery is what goes into all of these little guys right here. You can even te te tether them like this. Let me show you. So if I take this off right here. And I take it right off here. You'll see they're not tethered. That means these are not getting batteries. But these are. But if they're tethered just like this. You don't have to keep going from the battery to that single thing just like that. It'll be just fine. Then after you did everything that needs that little thing. I did a small. You can do... It's a little harder for solar panels. So if you go down, looking for solar panels. Then you find your solar panels blocks, and then you place, let's say, two. It, you can do as many as you want. It just takes longer. So see here? There's two. They're not connected. So you have to connect them just like that. And then that means they're te tethered. So you can go row, 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 row. Just like that. And you want to make sure you grab it. And then if there's a block right there, you grab it. You grab that block. You bring it over there. Just like that. It's, uh, it's a long process. Especially if you're trying to make your whole boat solar powered. But when it's done, it's worth it if you're doing an actual voyage. And then you're going to have those little buttons and all that. And then you're going to the real logic. And you're going to data. So you're going to see this right here. This is the throttle. You would connect that all the way down. Oh my gosh, I can't stay still. Right to here, throttle. Throttle goes to the throttle on the engine. And this is clutch. That if you want it to move when you hit W, you would do it right here. W and S, if you want to do for W and S, and it works for all different things. If you're an airplane to go slow, if you're anything, really. And when you have that, you're going to see this is connected to there. You don't have to connect the gearbox to anything. And if you want to have a different gear ratio, you would see if you go to select, you'll see all these blue things. And those are the things you can select for different things. So if you go to gearbox, 
I have a 3-1-3-1 gear ratio. And that's probably the best one for small boats. And I don't know much about this physics in the game. But if you select the chair too, you can do for this is the WS and for back and forth. You can change that label, censored, sensitivity. You can make it so you turn really fast. I'm going to go up to sensitivity just like that. And gearbox on and all that. So now you go to logic again. And you will be going over to your fin rudders. Then you see like this, it's actually the exact same thing, just the different one, the A and D for the rudders. And make sure your rudder, the solid blues that way and the thin blues that way. And then you're going to take this right here, this little turn on, it's a toggle button. You want to do a toggle button if you don't want to hold it all the time. Or if you want your engine to start when you're in the chair, this would be, you would take it from right here, the start, it would be called. Or it, I named it start, you don't have to name it start. And then you could go, when this chair, when this seat is occupied, it will automatically start. And that means, or you can have the button. And the button, you have to supply power to. So. And that's pretty much all the logic you're going to need here, except for, yeah, that's pretty much all the logic you're going to need right there. And then you'll see if I hit, I actually got to make sure I went over everything. <laughs> it does look like a lot, even though it's really simple. Then now you're going to hit spawn. I have infinite money on, so you can actually hear this. There's my boat. Make sure you made your top flat, because if you made your top flat, or if you wanted a rim, you would get water in your boat, like I did. As much water as you do, so on, you hear the movement. You hear that it's going. Then the S and W is forward. And if you wanna go, look at that. Your boat will go pretty fast. Then, steer pretty fast. As long as you're, the sensitivity is how fast it actually makes it move. There's your boat. You can even put little windows like I did. Oh, yeah, right here what I meant by... What I meant by, um... The tab thing, you just hit tab, and now you can't use that little bar down right there where it shows that it has the X and all that. You only can squirrel up and down squirrel on the mouse. Then you tab to go back in, and F to get out of the chair, and F to get in the chair, and, and I have my little throttle to see how fast I'm actually going. You can search up on another YouTube video if you want to try to do that. Yes, this is how you do that. Then if you're doing an actual mission, you'll see that little red thing. So if you want to do a mission, if you have autopilot, Go over to an Ariotics and teleport. Or wherever that person is, you're gonna wanna go, you'll see this, the red with the person. This person, and then, well, I have cheats on so I can teleport. You can set a waypoint, and then you could see that when you're on your thing. See, here's a people, here's a little fire found a fire extinguisher. Yeah, I don't have any on me. Eh. Works, yes. But yeah, that's how you would save people. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!